Welcome, in front of me is Samsung uh, Galaxy Book 4 and in this video I will show you how to go through the setup process on this laptop. So if you have just installed your uh, Windows from USB, you probably don't have the wireless uh, uh, the touchpad driver installed on your laptop and in this case uh, you'll have to use the uh, buttons to, to, to select so your, your keyboard basically and if you have the mouse that you can connect to your PC of course you can make it easier much easier for you um, simply by connecting a mouse but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna show it uh, this video for you if you don't have anything but your laptop so uh, first thing you have to do is select the right country of origin you can select using arrow keys uh, basically down and up uh, arrow keys uh, to select and then uh, once you select the right country region press enter to go ne uh, to go uh, forward and then select the right keyboard layout or input method using the very same uh, way uh, to do this now using tab button if you want to add a second keyboard layout Use a tab button, uh, click it a couple of times until you have the add layout selected, then press enter and after that you'll be able to, to add a new layout to your PC. Uh, but if you want to skip, uh, select skip and then press enter. Now on the following, uh, in the following window we'll have to um, connect to a network, so using arrow keys select the network you want to connect to. Uh, then press enter, press connect. Okay, I have to uh, press tab button to select connect and then press enter. Then enter the password to the network. Press enter. Okay, now that we are connected, let's press tab a couple of times until we have the next. Uh, button selected, click enter, and then we'll have to wait until Windows checks for uh, all, all the updates. Okay, so once the updates check is finished, you can uh, name your device. To do that, uh, hit a tab button uh, until you are in the uh, in this field, then you can input the name for your device and click next, uh, select it with tab and press enter, but you can skip this step uh, for now, you can always ch do it in settings. To do that, hit the tab buttons until you have the skip for now option selected and press enter. Uh, and then I think uh, the Windows will check for updates once again and start, uh, we'll start the the updates installation process and, and this will take you about uh, I think half an hour of your time and uh, afterwards uh, you'll be able to afterwards uh, the basically the ending part of the setup will begin Okay, so once the updates are installed, you can sign in to a Microsoft account. And you enter your email or phone number on the following page. I think let us wait another while. Okay, so uh, enter your email or phone number and press enter there then enter the password to your Microsoft account and press enter again Okay, let's wait. Uh, then let's create a pin. So just press enter. Now 
Now on the following page, enter the PIN for your account and then uh, press tab to go to the next text field. Confirm your PIN and then uh, press tab several times until you hit OK and then press enter to confirm. Okay, so on the following page you'll have to choose privacy settings for your device. For example, uh, okay, so use the tab to go to the uh, toggle uh, and to switch the toggle press enter, uh, press space bar. Uh, okay, so if uh, location lets you uh, get uh, information like weather, uh, directions and local news. Find my device feature lets you, you find your device uh, in case it's lost or stolen uh, so both of these I usually I usually keep them uh, switched on and for diagnostic data I usually switch it to off uh, switch it to no uh, the same goes with uh, inking and typing and uh, tailored experiences because uh, these four only uh, only collect your data for uh, either advertising uh, purposes or for research. So um, basically you can read uh, the description for each one of these four and if you want to use some of them you can decide for yourself and switch the toggle to uh, yes. But for, uh, I usually go with this selection uh, then uh, press up uh, several uh, times to select accept and press enter to confirm. Then wait a little, little bit. Okay, so right now if you have a backup, uh, you can uh, pr press continue to get your files and folders, settings and applications back from the backup. Uh, but if you want to, to set it, this device as new one, select more options using tab again, and then press enter and then press tab a couple more, more times to uh, have the setup as a new PC option selected and then press enter uh, then press tab a couple more times uh, set up as a new PC uh, selected again press enter and then uh, wait for a little bit Okay, so on the following page, uh, you can customize your experiences by selecting one of these options, but you can also always do this uh, in settings, uh, so I'm gonna skip this for now, so use the tab button again to select the skip option here, click on it, oh actually I forgot that we can use uh, the touchpad at this point, that's funny inside. Okay, uh, so right now uh, you can, uh, if you want to use your phone from your PC, uh, if you have an Android device, uh, scan this QR code and uh, for iPhone, uh, skip this step and uh, then go to the uh, iPhone link and uh, link your device uh, using iPhone link, uh, phone link application. Okay, so uh, either way, I'm gonna skip this. Uh, on the following page, you can uh, scan the QR code to back up your photos from your phone to this uh, laptop let's wait until it appears Okay, in my case it didn't appear for some reason, uh, this uh, that window that I mentioned, but uh, 
in, on this uh, window uh, let's select let's select not now then wait for a while Okay, so on the following page, uh, on the following page, select decline, uh, then again decline, and then uh, next. Then wait another while. Then click skip for now, and I think it's gonna be all, and the setup will complete at this point. Okay, let's wait until it finishes up and uh, yes, so that's it. We finally uh, completed the setup process. Uh, thank you for watching this video. If you if it helps you, con uh, consider subscribing to our channel. Leave us a like and a comment below and I'll see you in the next one.